in between episodes, I have been gathering wood. Killed skeletons. Popped cactus. Made new friends. Hello. Lost new friends. Goodbye. Hello. But biggest of all, I've reached an incredible milestone of one million <laughs> subscribers. And that's unbelievable. I honestly don't know what to say. I have a million reasons to say thank you to all of you. Thank you so much for being part of my YouTube journey. Thank you so much for being part of, of, of this channel. Thank, thank you so much for, for enjoying Hermitcraft and enjoying watching my videos every single time I post them. You guys are just, you guys are just unbelievable. You guys are the best. I, I've been shocked for the past day or so. I've just been stunned, honestly. I've been completely stunned. I, I, I don't know what to say, really. Now, people have been telling me to celebrate, and I gotta be honest, celebration for me is playing Minecraft. So I, I kind of celebrate every single day, and I have been able to do that for a very long time, and I will continue to do that for hopefully a very, very long time. I, I just love playing this game. This is this is pure pure celebrations to me <laughs> playing Minecraft. But seriously, again, a million omega thank yous to all of you for being part of this journey. It is unbelievable. Oh, and yes, in case you didn't realize, I did also do a mega mining session in between episodes for diamonds because we have a goal, okay? We have we have a goal this season of reaching 10,000 diamonds and so far so far all I've got to show for is is one stack in the vault. But you know what? I think it's time that we actually add another three stacks to this. We're almost, well, we're halfway. Well, a little bit less than halfway. <laughs> we're a little bit less than halfway to getting our first stack of blocks. That being said, 10,000 diamonds is 17 and a half stacks of diamond blocks. So we're still, we're still miles and miles and miles away. But at least, at least we're getting somewhere. Now this is seriously starting to become an issue. <laughs> my base is just way too small. I've completely outgrown it. I mean, just take a look at my chests. They're very, very quickly just over, <laughs> overfilling. You know you're outgrowing your base when you find random boats <laughs> just chilling. Oh, oh, hold on. Hello? It's Cal's theme song, Etho. I love theme songs and has he made me a theme song? Or is this a trap? You look super inviting, Lever. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go over it. Oh! It's All Star! It's All Star by Smash Mouths! The song in Shrek, right? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> wow! Thank you so much, Ito. I don't know if this is made in a... In a... Oh, that, that's weird. <laughs> I don't know if he's made this in a celebration, maybe, for the million subscribers. Either way, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Ito. I actually really, really like that song. Anyway, the point is, even though we have now got a super cool theme song in our base, we, we have to get cracking. We have to continue the work of the Omega Tree. So, the plan for today's episode is to try and get started on the branches. And this is a super scary task. You see, if I get these branches wrong, the whole tree is just gonna look absolutely terrible. So, I really do have to get it right. And, to be honest with you, I, I, I don't really know, I don't really know where to start. Here, I'm gonna start right here, I think. I think the trick to something like this is just getting it started. And I'm, I'm fully expecting having to take this down and put it back up as I go. But I do want to get a little bit of an idea of how, just how big these branches needs to be. So what I'm going to do to begin is make a fairly symmetrical and super thin base branch. Base branch. <laughs> it doesn't even make any sense, but what I'm trying to do here is get an idea of the scale when it comes to the length of these branches. And, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's, we're quite there yet. <laughs> that is looking absolutely, absolutely hilarious. And, 
And of course, that's not how the branch is going to look. I'm just trying to get I'm just trying to get the length right, and I think I think that's possibly possibly a fairly good length. This is by far the most complex build I have ever done in Minecraft, and it doesn't even look it doesn't even look complex. <laughs> it looks it looks like a mess to be honest. One of the things that makes this so tricky to build is because it is extremely hard to grasp whether or not I'm doing the right thing. I mean, I fly away and I look at it and sometimes I like it and sometimes it's just very, very bad. Like right now, all I see is that error there where it's definitely not supported well enough. But I think I'm getting to a point where, where I'm getting happy with it. I realized one thing I haven't done and that is looking at it from a little bit of a further distance. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this thing is enormous. <laughs> that is so massive. I hope, I really hope Mambo don't mind. I mean, he's gonna literally have the canopy just like a hundred blocks away from the, from the edge of his space. Beware, mega canopy ahead. <laughs> I think I think we I think we ought to leave that there. My goodness, it really doesn't look good from this angle <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> it's kind of like the longer I look at this, the less happy with it I get. Like right now, all I can think about is how very weird this little area looks. So then I add a little bit, and this is this is basically this has been my life today. This <laughs> this has been my life today. But anyway, the plan is that this here is our very first main branch. And we're gonna have more of them. We're gonna have one main branch on every single, I don't even know what these are called, nooks, bubbles, things. Yeah, things, we'll go with things. On every thing that comes out from the tree trunk, we're gonna have a main branch. So it will be another one there, three there, four, five, six, and seven. Uh, seven, this is the seventh. So is it eight in total? I lost count, eight. Eight main branches is what we're gonna have coming off of the tree. Seeing how one of these has taken five hours, this this is gonna be this is gonna be a very, very long project because I'm not done with I'm not done with main branches. I'm gonna have sub branches, super sub branches. Out of this branch, I want to have sub branches coming out on the sides, and eventually with the eight main branches, everything will kind of connect up together and hold up the canopy, the bottom layer canopy. Because I have said right, this is going to be an omega tree, so we're not just gonna have eight main branches and three, four super sub branches on each branch. No, we're also gonna have probably three layers of all of that. Better watch out, Bill Limit, because, because here, here comes this skull. I'm really scared of hitting it. Ooh, mushrooms. Hello? So, once again, this is where I wanted to have a time lapse of me building these sub branches and making the first main branch actually look <laughs> like, like something that belonged to the tree. But I discovered that making a time lapse of me placing down wood in a repetitive pattern or way was kind of boring. So instead, I decided to include some other highlights that happened over the past 14 hours while I was working on the tree. Starting with a wardrobe malfunction. Awkward. Well, I recovered from that and I decided to head out to try and get some dirt. What I discovered was something completely different. What is he doing? Did you forget about the monstrosity? So this is how Ren gets his oak logs. I feel bad now. There he goes. <laughs> He's manually chopping down oak logs. My god. Goodness. That explains why there's no extra wood in the monstrosity. I had to get a better understanding of why he was chopping down trees manually, so I decided to have a meeting with him. Why are you chopping down trees manually, dude? Have you forgot about the monstrosity? Uh, well, it's kind of awkward. I've recently raised the prices of logs, so we, the, the company's gone organic. So, um, yeah. Okay, I can't tell a lie. The truth is that monstrosity is really boring to use. I'm sorry, man. I see. <laughs> he hates it. <laughs> Let a little bit of light in. I feel very entrapped here. That's better. Whew. Nice view. Did you ever notice? Um, I kind of felt bad because we did have a deal with him using the monstrosity and me in return getting free logs forever in his shop. 
So I, I had to I had to take a different approach really. I mean I can't force him to use the monstrosity. I feel really bad about you having to chop okay. down trees yourself. So I want you to meet Iskalman. Oh <laughs> I am a man of good deeds. No need to worry. I'm a okay. good I'm a man of good deeds. And because yeah. because I see you chopping down these logs manually, which again, very, very, very weird decision, but it's your decision. Yes. I, my good deed for you will be to remove our deal with, okay. with me getting free logs. You can still use the monstrosity even though you think it's boring and ugly and you hate it. <laughs> you can still use it. Okay. Don't tell it that it's ugly. It has feelings too, you know. Okay, I'll be sensitive. So, you the deal is, you get to still use the monstrosity, and as a good deed, we no longer have a partnership. I'm no longer allowed to take free logs from your shop, because I, I feel bad. Iskal man, are you taller up than me? You are. Yes. I knew it! I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, <laughs> wait a minute. He has to look over his employees, right? I do want to make sure that, you know, you at least get something out of th <laughs> something out of this. So maybe we can revise a, a, a new partnership. Maybe considering you're building the biggest tree that Hermacraft history has ever seen, maybe we could cut some sort of like a bulk deal. Bigger Logs Incorporated could be your main supplier of oak, perhaps. How about that? I like it. I like it. What are you thinking? I, I'm very much for I'm very much for delivery of goods. Uh, well, I went on a, mm, how do we say, a spending spree. Um, yeah. <laughs> And spent most of the company's profits, <laughs> so we're running a bit low on on capital. Okay, so here's what I propose, Iskal. Yeah. Twenty diamonds per shulker box of that, oak logs. That's a okay. really good deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Uh, we will deliver the logs to you. That makes okay. it better. Okay. Yeah. I'll get Bob to do the delivery. He's super lazy. Who's Bob? You know, he's the accountant. He's useless. Um, oh. But the. The deal is that you have to pay when you on delivery, okay? So we'll so, deliver the logs, you gotta pay on delivery. So the man who does the counting, Bob, uh, yes. he will also do the delivery and he is he's useless. It's un it's unsafe. I mean what, what, yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Bob the the useless accountant who can't count will deliver me counted boxes of oak logs. Now that's a mega deal actually. You see, I felt bad taking free logs regardless, so I haven't actually been using that, but the fact that he will deliver logs for 20 diamonds per Schalke box is gonna be great. I mean, it, it's 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 gonna be absolutely, absolutely awesome. So with that said, I want to show you this. It may, it actually doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't look like much from this angle, but let me fly around to this angle and boom. That is definitely starting to look the way I want it, but again, and I can't stress this enough, this is taking me so many hours. It's taking me so long to do this, but I do really, really feel like I'm on the right track, and specifically from up here, I mean, I, I half live here. I mean, I got a bed and an ender chest. And my wood storage supply, which I'm running a little bit low on, not gonna lie. This has taken a lot of oak logs. But I gotta admit, even though this has taken me absolutely ages, I really think that this is starting to look like a proper branch. It still still looks a little bit rough in places. I'm still planning to have more super sub branches. I'm started one over there. But, I mean, it is, it is definitely taking shape. I want to see from the angle where it looked really, really ugly before. Ooh, mushrooms. Yeah, even from over here, it's definitely starting to take shape, isn't it? I'm, I'm actually super, super happy with this. I cannot wait till I get more branches in, specifically the next one next to it, so that I get some chunkiness in the tree over here, because that is, at the moment, it definitely looks, definitely looks a little bit funny. I know what a lot of you guys are probably wondering. What about the build limit? Well... We're 183, and like I said, this is the first, this is the bottom branch. I'm planning on having two more branches going upwards, but they're going to be on a slightly different arch as well. I think if I would not have that, it wouldn't ever look like a canopy. It is quite ridiculous the amount of time I'm spending on making these things, and honestly, like I don't, I still, I still 
I'm still not even close of moving in if I want to live in the canopy. But the plan is to build structures up in these branches. And that is why I'm trying to make it so that the canopy or the actual leaves start in the edges and then go slightly upward so that we get a lot of space in the middle to put down, well, all of the things that we need for a base, a storage system and all of that stuff. I'm also still not sure what I'm going to put in the, in the actual trunk itself. We're definitely going to have an Omega Elevator. I'm really itching to start the next main branch off of there, just so I get a little bit of structure here. But I think the right move is to continue with the super sub branches and try and get this main branch completed on this layer before I continue on to the next one. Anyway, with that said, Mambo has summoned me to, to Hermit Challenges. I, I don't know if he's wanting to do a new challenge or if... Or if he's just checking up on whether or not I did my good deed. So I, I guess I guess I should meet him up there. I realized that sounded really sad. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's it's just it's just worrying, okay? It's worrying to meet up at Hermit Challenges because literally you you never you never really know what's gonna happen. Right, Hermit Challenges. What what, challenges. what have you done? Hermit, it's Hermit Challenges. <laughs> Yay. Yours are always the lowest energy. <laughs> I mean, it's because I'm all... always confused. I'm standing here as a confused man. Look at me. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's not the... All right. Well, stress. Have you yes. have you done your your Swedish themed episode? Have you got any I, evidence I, that you could uh, yes. you did your I Swedish? Actually, I actually do. Look. That is. Oh wow. I was expecting like meatball or something like very no. expected. No. That is. Yeah. I'm impressed that is, by <laughs> that is Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> Swedish for what? I'm assuming steak, is it? No, it's um <clears throat> meatball. Oh, is it, is it Swedish <laughs> <or> meatball? <laughs> So you've just taken it a step further. That's so funny. So there's me going like, oh, fair play. She didn't actually do the expected thing of saying meatball. You just said meatball in Swedish. Well, Iskal, did you, I mean, I saw that you did, you gave you gave me a good deed. I much appreciate that. Did you do some other good deeds? Was there I did, anything else yep. you did? There was plural. I got a panda for yeah. stress. I got you white concrete and I built a magic door vault for Scar. Wow. Okay, a, so you've, a you, you've been busy. A, uh, oh, hang on Duguma. a minute. <laughs> Duguma. <laughs> Is that another Swedish word? Yep. That... <laughs> yep. It means magic door vault in, well, no, but yes. <laughs> yes. Awesome. And uh, well, I, I have placed, as as I'm sure you've seen, Iskal, I know you've been working on your tree. You probably completed my challenge as well, to be honest with you, because you've placed many thousands of blocks. <laughs> but I I also have placed many thousands of blocks as well. So it sounds like we've all completed the challenges. So I'm going to hit the bell. I'm going to yeah. confirm that I've done the challenge. Iskal's confirmed that he's done yeah. the challenge. Stress has confirmed that she's done the challenge. I felt, like, felt good happy. you actually doing it this time and not having a prize winning <laughs> 10,000 yeah. block placement. And it's like... Well, there we go. That's a pri That's a ten thousand block placement right there. That torch. That torch right there. Speaking about which, actually, All we right. should probably. Yep. We should probably. I mean, swap broths just appearing yep. out of nowhere. Rules yep. that aren't written. That just you being annoying. This yep. is. Uh, we should probably have a better system of like letting people know that there is challenges and stuff. Like I, I, I take it upon me to come up with something. You know. Or, Wait. Or, okay. Are you are you saying you don't you don't like it when I come along and just challenge you out of nowhere? Is that? Aww. Is that? We, I tried to get the band together, you know, friends together, challenges, have fun. <laughs> I go no, no, You place ten thousand blocks. I feel super bad. Um, I'm okay. I'm gonna burn these meatballs. <laughs> no, 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 no! Burn these! Don't no, no, burn these! What did you just burn? He, he, he burned the meatball. Me meatball. The yeah. meatball? You didn't burn the meatball. Well, okay. Well, fine. This is serious then. I've come up with an idea, and that is this. This is the challenges burn sticks. All right. So what we're gonna do <laughs> is, of course, here we go again. Here we go again. But just so you know, Escal, it was my idea all along. Okay. Okay. I, yeah, it was my idea all along. So okay. challenges burn sticks. If you want to be challenged, you, you just chuck down your churn, your, your churn sticks, your burn sticks. <laughs> you just chuck down your burn sticks, right? Chuck uh -huh. them down, and then that means that I know that you want to be challenged. If I put down my burn sticks, you know that I want to be challenged. If we both want to be challenged, hermit challenges. Hermit How challenges. Does that sound? Do, do yeah. I put down 
burn sticks. You also can put down burn sticks. Anyone can put down burn sticks. <laughs> Anyone who has burn sticks right now is free to be challenged. It's a fantastic okay. system. All right, wow. guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I'll leave these with you. I might take a few myself though because I, I wouldn't want to oh, be caught without okay. my burn sticks. And yeah. uh, I, I will catch you. I'll catch you again soon. Just okay. when you want to chat. Mega, uh, mega burn weird. Sticks. Isn't isn't this strange? Every time. Every time we do this, he just flies off in that distance, yeah, he's talking. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> so strange. Mumbo and his hermit challenges is truly a really, really weird thing. But I love the guy. I mean, I, I, I think, I think it's absolutely hilarious, and I do, I do laugh a lot at all of the weird stuff he comes up with for hermit challenges. Burn sticks. I, he's just a gift. <laughs> it's a gift that keeps on giving. Anyway, I've just spent some time in the monstrosity getting myself a new fresh box of oak logs because I, I know I spent a lot of time on the tree today, but it is a special time, right? And I I just love it. I just I just love seeing this thing slowly. I mean, very slowly to be fair, but surely coming together and I can now actually start feeling I can now start feeling the first sort of base area up in this branch, so what I thought I'd do is do a little bit more today. I, I want to try and get this super sub branch out to a point where, where it kind of connects this little part together. One problem is that I don't have leaves, so I may not, I may not be able to put leaves down. That's another big issue that I need to solve. How am I going to... How am I going to make sure <laughs> to get enough leaves for this tree? I haven't even thought about that, to be honest. I am running really low on logs once again. I can't believe this. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, both of those boxes are empty. I've got no more in there. Absolutely crazy the amount of logs that I use, <laughs> I use for this. But it is taking shape. I really do think that it is taking shape. <laughs> that, is, that is looking really funny, though. I definitely need leaves though because that that is looking really really funny and I can't really I can't really leave it like this without leaves I can't leave it without leaves pun yesterday when I was working on that branch there Mumbo was really kind and gave me like a full shulker box of leaves but I wonder if he has any more and I wonder he's not online at the moment but I wonder if he would mind me taking some he does have more leaves he's got a ton of leaves bought some leaves off of you Thank you, it's Kaledi5. 14 bamboo, he'll be happy with that. No, I am, I'm just joking. We'll give him 10 diamonds for one full shulker box of leaves. Right, time to put some leaves on those branches. And to be honest, I'm also doing him a favor because if he logs on right now and looks at this, I, I don't know what to think. That is looking, that's looking so funny from here. Strategy for placing down leaves? Nope, don't really have one. <laughs> don't really have one. Everything usually looks a lot better with leaves. So it's all about it's all about just placing them really. That being said though, I really do need to get a mega leaf session in because this this little this little branch here is two stacks. <laughs> two stacks of leaves. You kidding me? I just realized one thing I have to do once I'm done with all of the leaves is I have to come back and like place glowstone inside them so that we get glowing branches. That is going to look really, really cool. I can't believe this, but I don't actually have enough leaves to finish these branches. One Schalke box wasn't enough. These are my last eight leaves. And there's tons more that I want to place. I, I'm, I am I'm sort of overplacing it for sure and making it really, really dense. And that, <laughs> that looks like some kind of dog out there. <laughs> That is a full Schalke box of leaves placed. I really hope that it looks better than what it did without it. It's definitely getting there, isn't it? Definitely getting there. I do need a lot more leaves underneath that branch there. But like I said, I am completely, completely out of leaves once again. But oh my goodness. Okay, this, this is actually starting to look like a tree. I bear you a, a one branched <laughs> or mind you a one branch tree but it is it is starting to look like a tree this angle is still a little bit dodgy for some reason yeah i've got so much more to do on this i definitely need to start thinking about a way to get endless supplies of leaves but i'm i'm happy with this 
I'm happy with this. We got a brand new super sub branch that goes out that way. And I really do think that this is starting to look... This is starting to look like a canopy. And it's the size where we can actually start placing down base stuff in this area. I'm, I'm really happy with it. But with that, I really do hope that you've enjoyed today's episode. If you did, do hit the like button. And hey, an Omega Million thank you once again for helping me reach a million subscribers. Absolutely unbelievable. I, I still... I still can't believe it. <laughs> it's un, un, unreal. But anyway, like I said, with that, that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I will see you dudes in the next episode.